So Boss Play, if you don't know, has been sponsoring our show for the last few months. They are an escape room out in Oceanside, California, and they have two different escape rooms, uh, the Prohibition Ransom and the Chocolate Factory. They're currently working on their third, which is going to be a space escape room, I believe. Is that correct? That sounds correct. I remember, I, I think I, I believe I, there's not a lot of details on it yet. Yeah, not that we know. We're people generally confidential. leave us out of the loop as much as possible. Yeah, which is ideal. <laughs> you sound so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just how I live my life. That's true. That's, that's my secret. <laughs> I'm always uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the worst version of the Hulk. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so if you're in Oceanside or you're near there, you should go check them out. Uh, don't let them know that we sent you. That would probably be a huge mistake. Yeah, they like cut like 10 minutes off your time. Yeah, they made it, they like speed right out, right out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're super awesome. So you should go check them out and uh, you can let them know that we told you about them. They... Uh, might uh think that we're worth investing into if that's the case yeah that's true thank you taylor taylor and alan talking about movies they may be best friends but they always disagree taylor and alan i seen that so you said you finally saw leon the professional I finally saw it. I, for some reason, I've been wanting to watch this movie since forever ago. Because I remember you had it on DVD. Mm -hmm. And it was always one of those ones that I was like, I'm going to watch this movie. And then I just never did. And I don't know why. There's really no good reason other than I didn't. So (laughs) I finally pretty much forced myself to do it. Hey, could you you tell that story again? Uh, for a long time, I know watch, then I watch no. the professional. I like that. I like that. Uh, uh, abridged. Is that a bridge? No, a bridge is a full that, length. A, a bridge. I think that's a, a bridge, right? Is Where it shorter? I, they cut out the unnecessary so. parts. All the, the nonsense. Yeah. Well, I like that version of that story better. It was my point. I will talk like that from now on. Uh, it's creepy, right? The professional? Yeah, the the movie, the professional. Uh, yes, in a way. You mean like between him and Natalie Portman? Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't think that was the intention. I it think was. it just kind of came off that. Was it? Yeah, they were supposed to be lovers. I think, and, and originally. Uh, okay. Well, mm-hmm. that's, that's weird. Yeah. So Leon the professional, if you don't know, is about. Uh, an assassin who befriends a, what, 12-year-old? How old is she? Yeah. Yeah, probably 12. Whose family was murdered by a gang or by the mafia yeah. or something like that. And he's helping her out, and then he starts <sighs> teaching her, training her how to become an assassin so she can get retribution. Yep. And uh, it's it's really good, but it is pretty creepy. It Well, so... What do you mean by that was the original intention? Like, that's how the script was written? Yes. And why did they not do that? Because it's creepy. How would how did they plan on pulling that off? Like, she's, like, legit, like, 10 years old. Yeah, well, I don't think they were going to, like, make a child porn or anything. like. Oh, okay, like. good, because I wasn't <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, no, but I like I don't think they're going to do anything. I don't think there's going to be like any sex scenes or anything like that. But I think it was going to be more implied than they did. In the movie, in the cut, the, the, the what came out, it's like open enough for you to feel like he's in love with her. And it makes you kind of oh, uncomfortable. Really? You don't think so? I never got that. No, I never got that that uh since yeah Eh, but i'm also not that smart so that could be the truth yeah uh so what i wanted to talk to you about was solo oh here we go it all comes back to solo why have you not seen solo yet 
I, I've been saying this for like the last six months. I cannot get myself excited for this movie. Yeah. I even have it available to me. Yeah. I could sit down and I could watch it at any time and I can't do it. Are you, do you think it, you will ever just, watch it? Oh, I know that I will in the right time. I'm, I'm going to have to be in the mood for it, mm. but that mood has not come. And <laughs> do you want me to just spoil it for you? No, I definitely not. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't want it to be spoiled. I I want to watch it, like I and I want to enjoy it. Yeah. But I I I can't devote two and a half hours to something that I'm not excited for. Can I spoil one thing for you? I want to play a game. <sighs> it it's early on, and it's not that pivotal. <laughs> not that pivotal. Okay. Yeah. What do you Han Solo dies? Does he die? I knew it. <laughs> he does die, actually, but not in this okay. movie. Uh, what do you, spoilers for other Star Wars? <laughs> what do? You, how do you think, or why do you think he is called Solo? Because uh, we find out in this movie. Is that not his given name? Nope. Well, I guess you could say that. Uh, because he is a solo child. Nope. He only works solo. Nope. That's not even true. I, I, I know. That's why it was, uh, I, I haven't the, the slightest idea. You want me to tell you? Go for it. He, when joining the military, which is something you should already know, because I think it's all right. been established. The guard asks him, what people are you with? And he says, I don't have a people. So the guard says, hmm, I'll just put you down as Solo. Han Solo. Really? 100%. That sounds so stupid. Oh, it gets Now I want to see worse. this movie even less. It gets really bad. What have you done? <laughs> It's uh it's not a good one. It I was kind of surprised and there's a lot of backlash. I don't know if you've kept up with any of it or not, but people are upset that it's gotten bad reviews so people aren't going to see it. And Ron Howard has said like, "Yeah, it's kind of sad that people who would like the movie aren't seeing it because it's getting bad reviews." What's your uh what's your take on that? Well, well, okay. So, for one, I don't think anyone should see or not see a movie based on what critics say, because just w- what's what's good or bad for one person doesn't mean it's good or bad for you. Yeah. Uh, unless it's Siskel and Ebert, those guys, I will follow to the mists of Avalon. <laughs> Whatever they say. Um, well, so Flame Vortex three thousand. He That's says, a "Person, yeah, it's someone watching." He says that he uh, understands you perfectly. The movie doesn't seem good at all, and he's just gonna wait until it comes out on the DVD. Yeah, it, I mean, even then, like I said, I have it available to me right now. And now how do you have it I, available I, to you right now? How does that work? Isn't it in the theater still? It's not out on DVD. Uh, you can't, you can't no. buy it. So you're not gonna see it in the theater. Anything. Oh. That's interesting. Um, I no, I'm 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 not gonna see it in the theater for more than likely. Um, for because more that than I what does that mean? <laughs> you know what it means. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For more than likely, I don't know. I just it's so much time. If it was like an hour forty out, you know, maybe two hours, I'd say all right. How long is it? Is it? I think it's like an. Two hours and 30 minutes or something. Is it that long? I think so. Well, the good news is it looks terrible. Like, visually, it looks terrible. Which? The first half, at least. There's no excuse for that. Uh, well, I heard that there is this this plan of them trying to do it along the lines of the the progression of film. Right? So it starts kind of all black and white. Everything's washed out. Then it turns to that brown golden color 
of everything and it's, it's it, sepia yeah and it, it keeps progressing until it becomes vibrant and full range but it looks like garbage Why? it looks terrible i, what I don't is know the point it's, of that that sounds like uh an interesting concept for i don't know a regular movie why what's the purpose of that for a, a star wars movie um i don't know i don't know why you do it ron howard it, it looks bad it was i mean ron is it howard is a jabroni why well, i don't know if that was ron howard's choice because he came on pretty late yeah but then didn't they have to reshoot like a lot of this movie yeah but i think to do all that you'd have to do that from the beginning don't you think i don't know i don't know enough about it i imagine uh, they wait till the very end like it's about to go into theaters and then they just change the filter yeah <laughs> it's just it's like, like a, a 10 a, second process just an instagram <laughs> filter that they, they run it they run it through instagram well yeah. some of the scenes you can't even see the characters like it's so really? yeah like it's so shot they're so dark and there's so much shadows everything is just so covered in shadows you can't see what's going on you can't see who it is who's on screen it's, it's really bad it is That's... i give it a thumbs down how many thumbs down at least six six thumbs down six thumbs down did i tell you huh. my new uh rating system that i came up with uh the the one with the negatives yes I think that is a perfect rating system. I agree, right? Like, so instead of one to ten, because that's kind of confusing, right? Because five seems like it should be average. Like, a five is, right. you know, it's just fine, whatever. One is terrible, ten is the greatest thing ever. But then if you start thinking about letter grades, like A, B, C, D, E, F, not E, uh, five should be an F. So then you're just like, well, yeah. okay, so then does that make seven? perfect or average and then everything starts getting all crazy because people are using different systems so i think what you should do is a negative five to a positive five in zero yeah, i like it being just average like it's, it's so it's, zero is the new five. Zero is the new five. Zero is it's fine whatever it didn't i wasn't excited but i wasn't mad i it's just perfectly. I wouldn't call it good, but I wouldn't call it bad. Exactly. Okay. So okay. So let's see. Using this scale, mm. uh, what movie would you consider like a a five? A five. Um, I would say a five. Well, it depends, right? Because there's movies that I love because I enjoyed them, and then there's just like great movies, but they can be kind of boring, like. Movies that are super technical can kind of lose sight of the story, so then it drops down. Do you know what I mean? Well, movies movies are all for enjoyment, so I so would say it, base it, it off of that. Based off of that, uh, probably the first time I saw Fight Club is okay. would be like a five, right? Like it, it blew my mind. It was you know exciting. It was fast paced. It was gritty. It was you know really interesting. But now looking at it, I don't know if I'd give it a, a perfect score. Like, there's not a lot of things I'd give a perfect score to just in life in general. So, for reference, what would you rate a zero? Of uh, your life. Okay. For one. Sounds about right. Yeah. That's like, that's my barometer. Uh, a zero would be um, Black Panther. Black Panther is a zero. Okay. But, but that's not necessarily a bad thing just because it's a zero. Yeah, no. It just it's, means it's it's a okay movie. Yeah, it it's just it's just passable. I wasn't like excited about it. I wasn't mad about it. I was just like, this is fine. Similar to like Doctor Strange, or uh, Ant Man. Those I would all say like are zeros. They're what you oh, expect. I think Ant Man's better than those. I, I think my expectation for Ant Man was too high. You fool. <laughs> well, I like Paul Rudd, but we've. We're getting into a, a conversation loop because we've gone through all that about Ant Man before. Right. So, what would be a negative five? A negative five would be Saving Christmas. <laughs> I knew it. I, it was, I was so happy about it. <laughs> it's so bad. Saving Christmas is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Where would you put the Nicolas Cage left behind? Uh, negative four. Oh, okay. So. 
just as a heads up, I'm thinking if I win this next month, yeah, I'm gonna combine the best of both of those worlds, <laughs> which is a Kurt Cameron movie about <laughs> Left Behind. Oh, that's not that bad. I've seen that. Yes, but have you seen it as a an adult? adult? No, I have not. I think it's going to be a very... Di- I used to love that movie. Yeah. But even now, I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Just thinking back on some of the things, I could probably say, that's stupid. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Uh, Kirk Cameron isn't always terrible. No, he and he and no, he's not. And even as far as I can remember back then, at least in that movie, he was fine. He, he wasn't the problem. He's gotten worse. Yes, because he's gotten very, I, I don't want to say self-righteous. That's not the right word, but he's gotten very like, um, like in, look at me making a inflated. change. Yeah. Infl- yeah, exactly. His he impact. used to just be an actor, and then now he's like, in his head, this- A prophet? Activist. I don't know. It, it just drives me nuts. He's got that punchable face. <laughs> oh. Uh, Flame Vortex said that that's genius. I assume it's about my rating scale. That's what I'm going to go with. So what do you call this scale? The negative five to five. I don't know. I don't have a name for it. It's just a way to rate stuff. Fine. It, what is that? Why does, everything, <laughs> why does everything need a name? What do you What do you think it should be called? The Allen scale. Ugh. I don't want my name on anything. The, the scallon. The scallon. <laughs> that would be the first thing I would go with if I was going to go with something. The scallon. I was surprised Sca- that you didn't suggest scalen. Scalen? The scale scalen. <laughs> All right. Well, we are about to record uh, our extract episode. I believe that was what we. No wonder. Extract. Wonder. wonder. Yes. Wonder. Wonder is next.